With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, the crystalline salt Na2SO4 dot XH2O on heating loses 55.9% of its weight. Okay, so we have to calculate the value of X, that is the number of molecules of water of crystallization, which is associated with sodium sulfate. Four options are given, we have to find the answer. So now what they have given is SO4, X, H2O. So we have to see what is the value of this X. Now let us assume the initial weight to be 100 grams. If the initial weight is initial weight is 100 grams then the weight of anhydrous sodium sulfate will be weight of anhydrous anhydrous is which does not have water anhydrous sodium sulfate will be 100 minus 55.9 which equals 44.1 grams which equals 44.1 grams. So, 44.1 grams of anhydrous sodium sulfate is associated with water is 55.9 grams. So, with this what do you understand? That we understand that 44.1 gram of anhydrous Remember, it is anhydrous sodium sulfate associated with water equals 55.9 grams. 55.9 grams. So now, let us calculate what is the molar mass of anhydrous sodium sulfate. So molar mass, molar mass, anhydrous sodium sulfate, anhydrous sodium sulfate equals so we know the atomic mass of sodium is 23 so it will be 2 into 23 plus sulfur you know 32 plus oxygen is 16 so 16 into 4 or 4 into 16 so when you calculate this you get 142 grams okay so you get 142 grams so now so we already have this 44.1 grams of anhydrous sodium sulfate associated with water is 59 equals to 55.9 grams so let's find by unitary method so 142 grams so therefore 142 grams of sodium sulfate and which sodium sulfate it is anhydrous sodium sulfate equals how much it will be one for when we are we are equating with this unitary method we are following so 55.9 which we have got here into 142 divided by 44.1 divided by 144.1 when you calculate you get over here 180 grams you get 180 grams so now we should know the moles of water so 180 grams you have got to know we have to convert this into moles of water molecules so how to calculate moles it's very easy you know the formula so moles that is number of moles number of moles and we are talking about water equals to given mass by Molar mass, molar mass of what? Water. So what is the given mass? 180 grams. What is the molar mass of water? You know, 2 plus 16, 18, 18. And what is the answer? 10. So this is the molecules of water. Okay. So now with sodium sulfate, how many molecules of water is associated? 10. Let us see in the formula whether it is there. Yes, the last option is given there. Na2SO4, 10H2O. This is the answer.
This is the answer. All the other three are wrong answers. So fourth option is the correct one. I hope all of you have understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.